<clears throat> Hello guys here with another video of the uh, Dev Diary, you could say. It's more of a tutorial now this time. Uh, this time we are going to explain, or I'm going to explain how to download the MP mode, because I'm sure a lot of people have difficulties maybe in that. But it is very simple, but I'm just going to explain a bit how it is. Um, now, the first thing what you're going to do is to go to the ModDB page of the Total Fall of the Samurai series. Here you can see the URL already, but um, if you want to find it, you can go to the Total RTS Mods Forum, or you can go to Discord at the Total Fats um, Discord, where you can also find the link to, the, uh, to our ModDB page. So we have two installations or two ways to, ins uh, to install the mod. We have a manual one and we have an installer one. So it's pretty easy to use the installer one. I'm sure a lot of people will mostly choose the installer. So first I will explain the manual installation. So we click on it. For the moment, as you can see, it's still uh, not, I mean, it's not yet available, but it will come available in some hours. Before you download the uh, manual installation, please read the description. It's very important. It also tells you what kind of mod it is, what is it for, what it's what maybe what it's doing, maybe some bugs or whatsoever, glitches and, and whatsoever. But especially the installation one is pretty uh, important and later also this thing that I will explain later. So the installation of it is uh, you will see later you will have a download button button when you can enter when you enter the uh, ModDB page of the manual installation. And what we are going to do is we're going to download the Total Fox MP modes 0.000484. It's still in early alpha. So I already have it ready here for you guys. So let me just delete it so you can see it with me. So number one, it says extract the Total Fox MP mode 0.00484.7c and open the extracted folder. Use 7-zip exclamation mark it's pretty important why i use 7-zip to compress it it uses the lz lz sets ma2 compression um but i use 7-zip for that so i prefer to use 7-zip the reason why that sometimes winrar and other compression files uh, sometimes uh, use a different way of uncompressing it and can give a bugs or some other issues with the pack files that could corrupt. So that's why I prefer that you use 7-zip. It's a recommendation, it's not obliged. Just see that the compression have to be LZMA2. Normally it's automatically detected, but just for you to know. So right click on it with 7-zip. I mean, right click on the file, use 7-zip, and then we say extract the files. We just say okay it will then extract it in the folder and we just uh, wait until extract as you can see total size is 5.4 gigabytes so here it is the extracted folder we have here 11 uh, files 11 pack files where it says number two copy paste the 11 total f slash slash let me point 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 pack files to your show into data folder usually found by default at your C hard drive, program files 86, 32 bit, uh, in your total war show into data. Now in most cases, people have it installed by default on the C hard drive, but not always. There are some people I did in the past, for the moment I, have on a, I don't have other hard drives in my, in this build at least, um, then just follow, uh, just look for your show into data folder on that hard drive. So what we're going to do is you copy, just you select them all. You can do it by right click, copy, or you can just do control C, same thing. So we're going to paste it in the show into data folder in the C drive. Now I have it, so on my C drive, so you can just follow along. Program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, show into data. As you can see, I already have them installed, the 11 files, so yeah, I don't need to paste it, but you can, if you have, you can just do paste, right click on the folder, paste, 
or you just do control V. I already have installed it, so no problem. So what we can do is point four, it says run the game and activate the pack files with mod manager. And I'm also I'm going to do this. Um, I have shown to here. Uh, let's see. It's going to connect to my account. And that's the mod manager, as you can see here, the 11 files. So they are already activated because you can see the V, all the Vs. Otherwise, you have to deactivate it, but I just leave it that way. So that's it. And you just launch Shogun 2 and finito. Now, um, there's also the other way, and that is using the installer. So let us do the same thing. So here we have the installer. You can also do that on the ModDB page. If you go to summary, you have it also. And here we have the installer. Same thing as manual. Just read again the description. First of all, before you install any mod, it can really help you if you have any issues. So you download, as you can see, in some hours it will be available for the public. And then you, have, you get a download button and you click on it. And then it will download the folder. <clears throat> so this is the folder you will get. Same, uh, same thing, we have to extract it first with 7-zip. So that's what I'm going to do here, extract, okay. I mean, the, open the folder and as you can see, you get here um, two uh, files. What am I going to say? So three files, sorry. You get two bin files, they are part of the installer, and then you have the executable. Now, sometimes the executable in some PCs, when you have an antivirus, it will think it's a Trojan maybe, or a virus. It's not. The reason why it, it gives you that reason is because uh, I didn't, I mean, I didn't have yet the time to use the sign tool. The sign tool is a special script that you can add into installers. They are, that they are trusted, that they are signed or how you call it, a trusted certification or whatsoever. So then you don't get an issue, but this time I don't have it. So if your antivirus doesn't want to download, just allow it to download. There's nothing in it. Uh, so first what I'm going to do is to uninstall this thing here. I'll explain the installation again. Yes. Okay. So we're going to now run the uh, executable here. I also, I also explained here about the antivirus and whatsoever that you can just allow it, that there is no virus. Run as administrator, you don't need to, but it's just for most people have their own PC, so you can run as administrator. If you're not administrator, you can still download locally on your hard drive. If, I mean, I don't know, it's just, it's possible. So read again the following license agreement that's from you know Creative Assembly, blah, 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 and also our own all rights reserved. Um, and just continue. And how to install, here it again explains what you need to do. I think, you know, read it again, please don't just click next, 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 just read it, please. So as, as I said again, if it's not found on your C drive, the Shogun 2 data folder, then click on browse to go and look for the Shogun 2 data folder on another hard drive. Click next. Now it's already by default add, uh, added to the C drive Shogun 2 data. So in my case, it's there installed. So I can just go next. If we ask you to install the files in a folder that already exists, then just said yes, because it does exist. And we install it. So it will take a bit of time and maybe I will cut it and from there we can continue. So you can see uh, it, it is a 5.4 gig file. So remember it can take time on some people's uh, hard drives. I have an M.2 slot, so it's based on PCI Express. So my speed is one i mean you can read like gigabytes of files per second approximately other people have an ssd that can read 500 megabytes for example 
or others have just a mechanical hard drive so that's also going slower so dependable of the type of hard drive you have it can take a bit of time so just for you to know not because it looks going very slow that it does not work so then you know just uh let it go after that i'm going to explain um something you need to do before actually playing um it's an issue i have encountered a lot with people that they have issues with some crashes when they came when they want to start a custom battle and that is because of some scripts or whatsoever that are still uh, default in the application data and a lot of people you know they have like uh, high call parameters from former mods or the vanilla game and that sometimes can crash um, the game so yeah so then you also know it i'm just going along entirely with you guys so then you know like hey this is how it works so so thanks for the patience <clears throat> okay as you can see it's pretty fast for 5.4 gig uh, compression so here it again those are files that also are normally on the MultiB page but i'm sure a lot of people don't read that much of descriptions but you know those mostly descriptions are there to help you out if you have any issues or, or some information. The MP mod is only for custom, single and multiplayer battles, no campaign. Uninstalling the mod can be done by using the uninstaller inside the Shogun 2 data folder that comes along the auto installer. So the same thing you will see it. Activate the mod packs files when starting the game with the mod manager and bugs and texture issues could appear I will talk about it uh, in a late, in a other video. The mod has been tested thoroughly by our testers, so they are normally pretty minimal. We also, we also have our forum uh, that can help out for any feedback. So we click next and we finish. Now, if you go into your Shogun 2 data folder, you can see the 11 uh, files are there. You also see here an uninstaller. So if you ever want to uninstall the mod there are two ways not playing the mod is by uh opening the uh shogun 2 the mod manager will pop up and then you just uh, unassign them to the to the game i mean you do not uh, activate them you could say or you can just install it by using this file so if you double click on it as i did before uh are you sure you want to completely remove the Fox MP mode and all of its components. Yes, and voila, everything is gone. So now you only have the vanilla packs, and this is something else. But that's also the way you can do it pretty easily. I recommend to use the installer, not manual, because sometimes things get uh, can get screwed up. Um, now before we uh, end this installer. Um, before playing or running the game, it is best that you actually delete some files. Um, here I explain in the ModDB page. Let's just minimize it. Um, here you see delete the following folder in the application data. Um, you can find that in the C drive also, so local disk C users, and yeah, that's my name. Uh, application data, roaming. I remember sometimes those files are hidden, so you have to put hidden items that you can see them. Then you go to the Creative Assembly, show them to, and then it says here um, delete this file, advice. 
the army setups folder you, you can actually delete this folder this folder this folder this folder this folder this folder replace only the replace um i mean you also have to delete the replace folder but back up first the replay uh files that you use or you will use again for another mod or vanilla game so just copy paste them on another uh, folder or something but then you also then delete this one um you also delete in the script folder you delete the user.script so i will do it now because i actually have to do this uh, the preferences you can leave it like this because those are the ones that when you change graphical stuff on your um you know on your ui menu in the shogun 2 uh graphical menu uh, it gets saved all here and then you also have the ui catch you can also delete that so i'm going to then delete those files army setup uh avatar is not necessary this one yes uh, it's nothing there, so in theory, you don't need to. FX catch only when it crashes. This one also can be deleted. Uh, replays, I keep them because they are from the mob itself. And that's it. So scripts, only the user script and the UI catch. That's actually it. So this is because it, this resets your game. And when you go to custom battle, sometimes you save uh, like uh, units customization in the custom battle menu and it will not crash. Otherwise, it will crash the whole time. And then you have to start all over again. So just for you to know. So just follow the instructions here. Um, that was it for today then. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and if you have any other questions, feedback, other information you want to share, you can always share it on our Discord uh, or on the forum. You can find the forum here and our Discord here on these uh, two links. If you want to support me at Patreon, you're all open to, but you're not obliged, of course. But total forum is where the information is going to be added and Discord is more direct uh, questions and answers, you could say. Um, yeah, thanks for everything and uh, i see you in another video.